Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to Blitworks for sponsoring this video. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 23rd of July up until the 29th, and as we always do, we'll first look at a couple of games that have slipped out without ever being in one of these videos for whatever reason before looking at the week in hand. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at a game from the sponsor of today's video and that's Train Valley Console Edition which comes to the Switch this week on the 27th. This simulation game sees you needing to build railways to connect cities, manage traffic by constructing switches and sidings in order to have multiple trains running at the same time, and try to stay accident free by precisely controlling the trains during crucial moments. There are five eras to play through being 1830 to 1980 Europe, 1840 to 1960 America, 1880 to 1980 USSR, 1900 to 2020 Japan, and 1830 to 2020 Germany. The story mode factors in real life events from these eras such as the gold rush of 1849, the construction of the Florida Overseas Railroad, and the fall of the Berlin Wall to name a few. There is a story mode and a random mode, both of which can be played in a sandbox style, free of money and time limits, or in a more traditional manner, and there are 30 types of trains from early steam-powered locomotives to the modern high-speed variety. As I mentioned, it's out on the 27th and it will cost £10.79 or your regional equivalent. Check out the link in the top pinned comment for more information or to purchase the game. Let's start with a couple of games that are already out then, and the first is Red Out 2. This is a Wipeout-esque futuristic racer, and a follow-up to Red Out, which was pretty infamous on the Switch, having initially been slated to release just after the Switch itself back in 2017, but eventually released in 2019. We have released a performance review of this one, if you want to know how it does on a technical level, there should be a card in the top right hand corner now, that you can press if you want to give it a watch. Also already out is Severed Steel from Digirati. This came out on the 21st and is a first person shooter featuring what the blurb calls a fluid stunt system with destructible voxel environments. You play as Steel, a nimble one arm sharpshooter and you'll be dodging bullets, leaping off walls, slide kicking and throwing weapons through the six fully destructible environments of the campaign. Another one we have a video for, again click in the top right hand corner if you want to watch it. Let's move on to the games coming out this week, and the first is Captain Velvet Meteor The Jump Plus Dimensions. This tells the story of a young boy who is struggling with loneliness after a move to a new country, and therefore creates an imaginary friend, Captain Velvet Meteor. You'll play both in the real world, dealing with the struggles of everyday life, and dive into the imaginary world of the Jump Plus Dimensions. It promises tactical battles as well as both puzzle and stealth elements, and you'll be using signature moves to deal great damage to your enemies. It will cost £18.89 when it releases on the 27th. Then there's Azure Striker Gunvolt 3 from Inti Creates. These are fast action 2D platformers, very much like Mega Man, with Inti Creates having also developed a fair few Mega Man games, such as the Zero series, as well as 9 and 10. You can play either as Gunvolt or newcomer Kirin, and you can switch between them on the fly, taking on levels and bosses. This third game was developed with the Switch hardware in mind, which allows for crisper visuals, according to the blurb, and it goes on to promise a new power-up in the Image Pulse, which you can collect over 150 types of, and they allow you to summon comrades and rivals from Gun Vault's past to attack, grant abilities and more. It will cost £23.39, but you can get 10% off of this price up until launch. Next is Kumaju Romilia Scarlet Symphony, which is a Castlevania-inspired adventure set in the Toho universe. Judging by the footage and the title for that matter, it would be easy to assume that Symphony of the Night was the main inspiration behind the game and it offers gothic interpretations of the Toho characters within its story. The blurb mentions that this version of the game includes an optional easy mode, in-game challenges, background music collections and galleries. It's going to cost £26.99 and in terms of a physical release, I can only find mention of a Japanese release, although it does look as if that includes an English language option. 
If you are interested in grabbing that physical version, don't forget we have a Play Asia link which you can find in the description and the top pinned comment. Use that link and the code stated and you can save yourself 5% off of an order. We have an Equilation, which is a twin stick shooter set upon the surface of small planets. It reminds me of a game that I used to enjoy on the 3DS called Nano Assault EX in respect of that spherical gameplay and of course the twin stick element, although it does mention a few extra gameplay quirks such as the fact that you'll be able to terraform some of the planets and that you have a sword attack as well as bullets. In terms of game modes you have story, defend your base and a few others such as goal, contagion and free for all plus you can play with a second player locally in either co-op or PvP modes. Shooters with this sort of perspective always intrigue me so I'll be keeping half an eye on this one when it releases on the 28th for £11.69. Then we have Avenging Spirit which I know of due to the Game Boy version released back in 1992 but there was actually an arcade version of the game which came out a year prior to that which it appears is the basis for this release. The basic premise is that a man is murdered and his girlfriend kidnapped, leading to his spirit attempting to save her from a mysterious crime syndicate. You do this by possessing characters and using their abilities to get through stages. The Game Boy game I mentioned was actually very good. It was also released on the 3DS Virtual Console, I believe it was quite an early release on that system, and at just £5.99 I'll be picking this one up to have a go through it. It's also out on the 28th. Next is Madison which calls itself an immersive and terrifying first person psychological horror game. You are hunted by Madison, the ghost of an evil murderer who is forcing you to continue a gory ritual started decades ago. You are aided by a possessed instant camera which lets you connect the human world to the beyond and you must solve puzzles, explore your surroundings and ultimately survive the ordeal. It will be interesting to see if this is more of a walking simulator or whether it borrows some gameplay elements from the Fatal Frame Project Zero series, of course with that camera mechanic. It will cost £29.99 but it does have 10% off of that price up until launch. Then the big one for the week in many people's eyes no doubt, we have Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This promises to bring together the futures of both Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 in this brand new adventure which comes out on the 29th. It's an ARPG set in an open world and this game expands the number of party members you can have active during the game from 3 in the previous games to 6, possibly even 7 at times here. Tetsuya Takahashi, creator of the Xenoblade Chronicles series, has an executive director role here and a number of the other staff members that worked on the previous entries have also returned for this third game. I loved the first game which I played initially on the Wii and completed when it came to a portable console in the 3DS but would need to finish the second game before grabbing this one. Great to see it here though and do let me know if you are going to pick this one up or like me do you have to finish a previous game first. They're his view. Sword March, the land pierced by a great sword. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real. The penultimate game for the week is Turrican Anthology Volume 1, which brings together a few of the games from the Turrican series, a classic run and gun series whose roots go way back to the 8 bit home computers. This first volume includes Amiga versions of Turrican and Turrican 2. Super Turrican for the Super Nintendo, Super Turrican Director's Cut and the Score Attack version of Mega Turrican which came out for the Mega Drive or the Genesis. Now these are the same four games which released on another recent Turrican collection called Turrican Flashback and from the blurb I can only really half ascertain what the difference is here which seems to be a few modern features having been added, being able to scan the map and turn layers off from the map as well the director's cut having an extra level and you being able to choose between the remastered versions of the original classic music from Chris Holzbeck or anthology music this time round. Finally for the week we have volume 2 of that Turrican anthology, both of which sell for the price of £29.99. This one seems better value for anyone who already owns the flashback collection I mentioned a moment ago as there is far less duplication this time round. 
Volume 2 includes Turrican 3 for the Amiga, Mega Turrican and Mega Turrican Director's Cut, Super Turrican 2 for the Super Nintendo, and a score attack mode for the first Super Turrican. It's a shame that there isn't a place on either of these collections for the Commodore 64 original, and I do wish it was made a little more clear what the main differences between this and that flashback release are, but aside from this, the Turrican games are absolute classics and have held up very well to this day to be fair. It's one of my proudest works. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Are you going to pick any of these games up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Another big thank you to Blitworks for sponsoring this video. Please do check out their game Train Valley. Don't forget it releases this week on the 27th. If you are looking for eShop credit, don't forget you can use our website to buy eShop cards. We do currently have 10% off available by using the code SWITCHUP. You can also pre-order Xenoblade Chronicles free from there if you are going digital with that one. And there is, of course, that link to Play Asia that I mentioned earlier. Again, use the link, use the code, and you'll get 5% off of an order there. A quick thank you to our Patreons, as always, for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.